I want to read two homages that were written by my god brothers. These were published in a book that some of my disciples produced with homages in them. First, I want to read one from Jayadwaita Swami. Deep in the land of the heart, where real thoughts are carefully cherished, you live in Varaha Bhavan, a little white house, down from the cornfields, a house where upstairs Radha and Krishna live, a few feet from your chair. There you hear about them, chant for them, write for them, see them, and disclose your mind to them. And they encourage you, come inspire you, come and pull you closer toward them. Sri the Prabhupada is there, come at your lifelong guide, come at your master and friend, come at there with Radha and Krishna, helping you, come and guiding you, nourishing and strengthening and refining your devotional life, your thoughts, the words that you write and say. After the years and decades when you served on active worldwide duty, temples, travels, men, meetings, programs, library party, GBC, zones, money, management, it's quiet there. A few close servants and friends with you, helping you in this time of your devotional career. Downstairs, Gornitai extend blessings. Vrindavan upstairs, Mayapur on the ground. <laughs> and even in the kitchen table at lunchtime, sounds from the spiritual world invoke the presence of Krishna in his many forms, in his pastimes with his devotees, through the reading of Srimad Bhagavatam. Outside the borders of this mostly unknown land, people live in a world of flags and fire trucks and Hudson Valley illusions. <laughs> but here your Krishna consciousness creates the world of Vrindavan, the world of Krishna, the true home for the soul. And for your fortunate readers, friends and followers, your words dispel illusions and lead the way, following Sri the Prabhupada back to the land of eternal service to Krishna. Forever in your debt, servant and friend, Chayadwaita Swami. There were several more from my god brothers. But it will take up too much time <coughs> to read them. I'll read one more from Giri Raj Swami. As you know, you are my mentor, exemplar, and inspiration for writing about Srila Prabhupada, which has been my main focus for the last several years. And so I have been thinking of you. I recently finished the first draft of my book about Srila Prabhupada and Juhu. And while working on the book, I would refer to Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita and marvel at how beautifully it was written. <coughs> now I am contemplating writing about Boston where we first met and where you nurtured me in Krishna consciousness and encouraged me to write. And I will be referring to your writings about that period as well. <coughs> in my initiation letter dated July 5, 1969, Prabhupada mentioned you, <coughs> quote, with my blessings, I am ending, sending here with your beads, duly chanted on by me. 
You should avoid the ten offenses as far as possible and follow the four regular principles as Satsvarupa will instruct you. I know your good God, Brother Satsvarupa, will always help you in this connection, unquote. And even now, your emphasis on your personal japa is guiding and inspiring me. So I feel very grateful to you, for you have nurtured me in Krishna consciousness from my very first days as a student in Brandeis University until today. And I know that you will continue to do so.